Hi guys, thanks for dropping by. Today I'm going to be taking a look at JBL Horizon 2 clock radio. As you can see, this has come from Harman in the Netherlands, as I actually ordered straight from the JBL website. It took about four days to get here from ordering online, so let's get this box opened, see what we've got. Now, I actually ordered two items, as you'll see, but I'm only doing a review and sound test on the Horizon 2 here today. I'll be doing the same on the other item, which as you can see is the Flip 6 Martin Garrix version. So I'm really looking forward to taking a look at that. So watch out for that video if you're interested. Coming soon. Now I wasn't sure how big this was actually going to be guys, but judging by the size of the box, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty decent size, which is exactly what I was opening for. So, you know, that's a big thumbs up. As you can see, it's got dual alarms, an ambient light, two USB charging ports, a large display, and an easy to use rotary knob. So far so good. Now I have to say the two USB charging points is great, isn't it? Nice little touch there. There you go, we've got Bluetooth, DAB Plus, FM, digital radio, and a red dot winner 2021. And if you know what that is, please leave a comment below and let me know because I've got no idea. But as usual, a nice quality box from JBL. Let's get it open, see what we've got. I am going to speed some of this footage up guys just to move things on a bit quicker. There's our quick start guide which I'll be opening up and having a closer look at in a minute. There's our power cable. Right, come on, let's get this out. Oh, this is nice. And there's a mirror on the front, that's a great little feature. This is nice, I like this. Decent size and feels good quality too, guys, as we expect from JBL, of course. Given the price as well, it wasn't cheap. £120 UK money. This back lights up, by the way, as we'll see in a minute. Yeah, it's all plastic, but what isn't nowadays? Oh, this is great. I like this a lot so far. Now, the base seems good quality, durable, non-slip hard rubber, just like most of these speakers nowadays, especially JBLs. There's our inputs for the power supplies. This is not rechargeable, guys, so it does need to be plugged in. Also, the auxiliary socket for connecting to a laptop, tablet or phone, as well as our socket for the antenna for the radio reception. Now, this is where the backup battery is housed to keep the time and date just in case you unplug the device. There's your two USB ports for charging your devices. Guys, one would be good, but two is great. Now this weighs 0.81 kilogram, which is 1.78 pounds. So this comes in at just over one and three quarters of a pound, guys. I'll add the exact dimensions in the description below for those who are interested. There's our quick start guide. I'll be coming back to this in a minute. All you need to know in about 26 different languages. And there's the safety instructions and registration booklet if you want to register your device online with JBL. You've got two different plugs in the box for the power cable a two pin plug such as this one here and a three pin plug which is this one here depending on your country's requirements. I'm in the UK so it's a three pin plug for me. Okay let's get this cable unwrapped and see how long it is. I'm hoping it's going to be a decent length. That's the trouble with a lot of these devices sometimes the cables aren't that long. There's the antenna cable which acts as an aerial for the radio reception. It's 31 inches long guys, which is around 79 centimeters. You just push it into the socket that's labeled antenna and you just hook it up somewhere or leave it lying behind the radio if the reception is okay. Now I'm not gonna actually be testing the radio today guys or I'll get a copyright notice from YouTube and that's just hassle. Okay, let's connect the power cable now after I've given it a good stretch to get rid of those kinks. 60 inches long this guys, which is five feet or around 152 centimeters. So it's a nice decent length. First of all, we need to connect the plug to the power adapter so we can actually plug it into the power supply in the wall or extension leaders I'll be using as you'll see. We just need to cut this plastic off first, then grab the correct plug for your country, which in my case is the three pinned one. Then just slot it in the top and give it a bit of a hard push. It is pretty tight fitting this guys. And there we are, ready to go. Connect the power cable in the socket labeled power, of course. But before we turn it on, let's have a quick run through the buttons and their functions as written in the quick start guide, as you can see. Now, bear in mind, guys, I'll be going over some of these again as I set it up. So this is the volume control as well as the time and alarm setting button. And it's also the backlight on and off button, as you'll see in a minute. We've got our up and down manual tuning buttons for the radio. 
Our Bluetooth on and off button for pairing to your mobile phone or laptop for music streaming, as I'm sure you know. The scan button for the radio's automatic tuning function to find radio stations by itself. The DAB or FM radio selection button. The DAB or DAB stands for Digital Audio Broadcasting, for those that don't know. And this gives a much clearer and precise reception. Then you have the three preset buttons to save three of your favourite stations to a quick press of either of these buttons. Then you have two separate alarm buttons so you can have two different alarm times set at the same time which can be quite handy if you need it. So that's pretty cool. There's the connections in the quick start guide. We're already connected so let's get it plugged in. Sorry guys, I was a little bit quick here at selecting English before running through the different languages. There are in fact nine different languages which include English, German, Italian, Norwegian, French, Danish, Spanish, Swedish and Dutch. All you do is turn the volume button to find your language and then press it to select that language. Then you just choose the 24 hour clock or 12 hour option which comes up. Uh, also just by turning it before pressing it to select it. Then once you've pressed the big button to select the time format, the clock setting automatically comes up next. Set the hour by turning the big button to change it to the correct hour. Then press the button to select and save that hour. Then the minutes come up automatically. Again, just turn and press the big button to change and set the minutes for the clock. Then repeat this process again to change and set the date to the correct date. And there you are, date and time set. It's all in the quick start guide, guys, as you can see. But look at this. Is this cool or what? All you do is press the big button to turn it on and then press it again to turn it off. And you've got a great little light for the bedroom. Brilliant. Now, another nice little feature that I really like is the automatic display dimming function. What this means is when your lights are on as they are now and it's pretty bright in the room, the display is also bright, so you can see it, of course. But when you turn the lights down low or off, the display automatically dims after around 10 seconds. That way it's bright enough to see in the dark but not too bright to bother you while resting or sleeping. Turn the lights back on again and the display brightens up almost straight away. So as simple as that is, it's a really nice little feature, I love it. Okay now before I do a sound test I'm going to have a quick look at this backup battery which is there to keep the date and time correct if you unplug the device or there's a power cut. Now there's a little plastic tab that's there to stop the battery from being used while it's in storage before it's sold. Just pull it out and then the date and time will stay correct if the device is unplugged. This is a little lithium CR2032 battery that you can pretty much get anywhere and you know it really should last a very long time as it's hardly used. Now there's just one more thing to do before I try this speaker out, if I can get hold of the tab. There you go, looking very nice, shiny and new. Okay guys, I'm going to connect it to Bluetooth now and try this speaker out. Anything else I haven't covered is all in the quick start guide. Any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. So with no further ado, let's see how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 